Doing an oil change on a uh, 7.3 is not very difficult at all. Um, this is the oil pan. You can see I have a uh, what's called a Fumoto valve. Uh, it makes the process a lot easier. Uh, all you do is you flip this little switch and the oil drains. No nuts, no nothing like that. Um, this one is a nipple that you can put a uh, 3 8 in inner diameter tube on and then you can route it straight to your pan. But uh, I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to let it fall. Just don't forget to open the vent on your drain pan. Alright, and now th these valves do drain a little bit slower than if you just remove the nut, but I think that the way off is um, much better versus getting oil everywhere. Just gonna remember to close that because otherwise you're gonna get your new oil <laughs> mixed in with your old oil. Now we're gonna take the uh, oil filter off. And this is the oil filter. It's located right next to the oil pan. Your drain valve is right there. So this is the oil filter. I'm wondering if I can twist this one off. It's got quite a bit of road grime on it. So I, I couldn't get it up by hand, so I've slid my oil wrench on here. I'm just gonna take it off with my wrench, <clears throat> hopefully. Now, you want to be careful, because this holds two quarts of oil when it's full, so it's kind of heavy. Um, also, sometimes it won't be that easy. It's fairly loose now. Sometimes what these will do is they will crush your filter instead of turning it. Now, I've never had that problem with one of these Motorcraft filters. They seem to be built pretty well. Um, but with some of the other uh, brand name filters even, um, they'll crush it. And what you'll have to do is what I found works is you take a screwdriver, drive it all the way through, and then you use that as a handle to pry it. That's kind of like the last resort, but it works. Also, so what some people do is they'll drain the... Um, They'll drain the filter by poking a hole in the bottom of it, and then they'll take it off. I don't do that, but there's nothing wrong with doing that. Okay, so I actually decided to, um, I actually decided to go ahead and puncture the fuel f or the the oil filter um, because it, when it was hitting the the drain pan, it was splattering everywhere. I just don't want to deal with that right now. So what I'm doing is I just took a screwdriver, tapped it in with a small hammer, and now you can see it's draining from the bottom. And all I used was this small screwdriver. Man, I got messy. See, this is why I didn't want. This is why I decided to puncture it. Maybe I'll start puncturing it now. I've never had this problem before, um, but I don't like getting dirty. I know that sounds weird. I just don't like getting oil on me. Not so much on me, but everywhere else. All right. All right, next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your new filter, turn it upside down in the box like I have. Take your new oil, and you're gonna, you're gonna preload the, uh, the filter with oil. Some people don't do this, some people do. I say do it, if it doesn't hurt anything. And this will take two quarts. Then dip your finger down in there and get some oil on the uh, on the gasket O-ring on the new filter. That will make it easier to take off next time and creates a better seal. Because it's getting dark, I skipped the process of putting the filter back on in the video. Um, it's getting dark, and I'd like to show you the rest of it. Uh, so just know that um, you don't have to crank it down hand tight then maybe a quarter turn with the filter wrench is all you really need. It doesn't need to be um, torqued down to any crazy amount. Um, other than that, now we just got to add the new, um, the new oil, and then we're ready to hit the road.